there are a few things in this world that are inevitable. Uh, death, that's a big one. Um, I, I'll drink coffee if you offer it to me. Same with alcohol. If you're a cat, I will touch you until you very impolitely ask me to stop. And I will never watch Game of Thrones. And I'll tell you why. I cannot any longer turn on the television without being bombarded by a swamp full of shit. And speaking of swamps full of shit, Duck Dynasty, or as I like to call it, the Bog Racists. Take a look at any of the not-so-colorful characters on that show, and then look back into my face and tell me that you didn't expect all of them to be super racist and hateful towards anything that was darker than pure ivory white. And I know what you're saying, Jay, you're just being stereotypical. Not all rednecks are racist. You show me one person who lives that deep into a crocodile-infested marsh who wouldn't hate me, and I'll show you a scientist who's studying the mating habits of those who were rejected from the KKK for being a little bit too intense. I'm gonna coat myself in marshmallow fluff and infiltrate that family's mud huts and just sleep with every single, like, male and female, provided that they're under 60 because it's wrong to wear leather. Just taint that entire bloodline with chocolatey nectar, and that's either genetics or semen. You be the judge. The whole point of the video is that it seems as though there are no longer any rules to TV, especially when it comes to reality programs, but it's not just limited to that. It's as long as you have a face that's kind of weird looking, just anything goes for you. And Chloe Moretz is very popular right now, and I think it's entirely due to an ancient source of power that she has buried deep within her upper lip. And every time she makes a film, it tries to escape a little bit harder, and the front of her face grows exponentially like a math equation that has its own agenda. What I'm waiting for is the inevitable buddy comedy that's coming, where it's her and her upper lip, and I want to see the crazy hijinks that they get up to together. Like, they gotta break out of prison? That'd be awesome. And so I'm not gonna actively pursue a show that's currently airing if, in order to find it, I have to dig through an ocean of manure. So at least inject some originality into your programming. My favorite kind of reality TV footage was that closed circuit right in the courtroom stuff. Like when a businessman would rip his shirt open like a beast and then throw a chair at a congressman. There's something magical about watching someone whose entire job is to appear professional and composed devolve so quickly into a WWE wrestler for 10 minutes. We should start giving members of parliament actual wrestling training and turn this into a national event. I'd be much more excited about congressional hearings if I knew that at any time somebody could get a face full of the people's elbow. Nothing would get me to support legislation more than watching somebody get choke slammed into a court stenographer's desk, especially if they look like they just came back from a funeral. Yeah, this no cardigans before December bill had really built up some steam. But then the Chinese ambassador pulled the ladder out from under the ring and suddenly we all forgot about Argyle sweaters. And since apparently all you need to get a series these days is to send a kinda nice email to an executive somewhere, I thought I'd share some ideas for shows that I think would be better than watching anybody react to anything on Nickelodeon. Like, I want to make a show about this group of prostitutes, and they all charge an outrageous amount of money for full intercourse, except for one who does it for free. Every week, the viewers will get clues as to which one it is, and one of the prostitutes will be eliminated. It's called Who Gives a Fuck. I want to make a contest show where a bunch of women are put in front of a Roman banquet like a table full of food. You can eat whatever you want, but you have to throw up immediately afterward or else you get kicked off. It's called America's Next Top Model. And lastly, I want to have just a 30 minute slot that alternates between bars and tone, static, and just a black screen. Every so often a giraffe will come walking from one side of the frame to the other, and his penis will be massively erect. People are going to watch that no matter what I call it because it sounds better than just about everything else that's on television right now. God, I hate the Fine Brothers. Fuck. Teens react to learning that they're gonna have to suck one in order to get another episode. Elders react to the catheter. Teens react to the inevitability of death. 